In this StreamYard tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the whole A to Z, everything you need to know to get up and streaming on StreamYard. I'm Sarah Nguyen and on this channel, I help you grow your business using video on social media with ease. This is a comprehensive walkthrough of everything you need to know to get up and running on StreamYard. I've got the timestamps in the description so you can jump to the relevant sections if you need to go back at any time. Let's go over to my computer now and I'm going to show you how. So after you've logged into StreamYard, the first thing that you want to do to set up your live stream is to set up the destinations. So where you want to actually start to live stream to. So go ahead and click on destinations, which is on the left hand side of StreamYard. And once you do that, you would follow the prompts and click add a destination. This will bring up the section that allows you to connect your Facebook page, Facebook groups, LinkedIn pages, your YouTube channel, Periscope, as well as Twitch and custom RTMP. So you would simply click on the one that you want to live stream to and follow the prompts. So I'm going to click on Facebook page. I'm going to already be logged into Facebook because that makes it so much easier. And then I'm going to click on connect Facebook. StreamYard will then ask you to choose which page you want to connect to if you're an admin of multiple pages. So I'm going to click on one and like that, if I go back to destinations now, I can see this page that I've just created as well as any other destination that I've added. If I want to remove a destination, all I would do is hover over the three dots and then click on remove and then StreamYard will ask me to confirm if I want to remove the destination or if I just got a bit click happy. So I'm going to go ahead and click remove destination. And then now you'll see that it's no longer available in StreamYard. So that's how you add a destination. After you've added your destinations, you'll be able to set up your broadcast. So I'm going to do that by going to create a broadcast. And then I get to choose which platforms I want to live stream to. So I can either multi-stream and live stream to multiple social media platforms at the same time, or I can just live stream to a single platform. You choose which one suits your needs. So I'm going to click on one account and then I would add the title of the live stream. This actually appears on the video for the live stream. So make sure you make it a little bit enticing and descriptive. And you can also have a description as well to explain what the live stream will be about. Once again, this will appear on the actual post. So let's go ahead and click schedule for later now. And then what I can do is I can schedule a live stream. It needs to be within seven days of creating the actual live stream. So I would go down to schedule start time and choose the date and set the time. And the other thing that I can do is I can upload a thumbnail image. I'm going to click on that. This will allow me to choose an image from my computer and then select apply. And this will be the image that StreamYard will add to the event. So I'm going to then click on create broadcast and StreamYard will create that event for me. And I can see that I've created the event and when it is scheduled for in StreamYard. And when I go over to my Facebook page, I can see that StreamYard has created this event so that my viewers can get a reminder and know when I'm going live on the actual platform. If I have any guests, I can click on the three dots here and then I can click on invite a guest and send this link to them. So they'll be able to join the live stream and be prepared in advance with this actual link. Let's go into the broadcast studio so we can have a look at overlays and setting up all of the elements of our live stream. So I'm going to click on enter broadcast studio. StreamYard will allow me to choose my camera feed. If I've got multiple cameras, I simply click on the drop down in the camera section and choose a relevant one. In the audio settings, I can choose my microphone from the drop down, and I can also see my microphone levels. I can see that it's working because the green dots are moving as I'm talking. I can also choose the speaker where the sound will actually come out of, and I can also do a test to make sure that I can hear that sound is coming through StreamYard. I've also got the option to choose echo cancellation, 
and also automatically adjust mic volume. There's the option to play with green screen. If that's your thing, that's available in the settings here. Otherwise you'd be ready to go. And then you can change your display name and enter the broadcast studio. Now we're in StreamYard's broadcast studio. And you'll notice that in this main rectangle section here, this is where the live stream action actually happens. And you're not actually in the live stream until you actually click on add to live stream. And this will add you so that you can be seen on the actual live stream. Everything is quite intuitive to use within StreamYard. To do anything, it's essentially in one of three places. It's just underneath the camera feed here, or it's at the bottom of the screen here, or it's on the right hand side. So let's walk through the right hand side first. The first thing that you'll be able to do is see the comments. And these are the comments that come through from viewers. What you can do in StreamYard is if a comment comes through and you click on it, then you can display it during the live stream. And this will show on screen and people will be able to see it. And it's a great way of interacting with your viewers and also having some content on the actual live stream as well. To hide it, you would simply click off it and you'll be able to see all the comments from all of the social media platforms that you are connected to. In the banners section, this is where you can add some text to the live stream. So if I click on a banner, you'll see that at the bottom of the screen here, it's got some text and it's displaying on the actual screen. So I would click on it to display it, click off it to hide it and to create a banner I would simply click on create a banner and then I can add some text and click add banner. If I wanted to make the text scroll across the bottom I would simply add the text and then click on scroll across bottom and when I click on that banner to show you'll see that it will continually scroll during the live stream until I click on hide to get rid of it. And banners is a really easy way of breaking up your live stream, adding some text and some context to the live stream. And I use it not only to add some text to teach things, but I also use it as a way of adding questions, as a way of emphasizing some main points. And you don't need to do anything. It's really quick and easy to get up and running. Underneath banners is brand. And here's where a lot of configuration can happen. But don't worry, it's really easy. You can set your brand colors from here. So at the moment, I've got it on this beautiful pink magenta color. If I click on that, then I have a color picker and I get to choose any color from the color spectrum. And this will change the banner color as you can see. It's changed it from pink to yellow on the left hand side here. I can also choose between two themes, this minimal one that you see here or their default one, which is slightly larger and blockier. And I can just switch between them depending on what suits my mood. The other thing that you can do depending on the StreamYard plan that you're in is add a logo. So if you're on the free plan, the logo of StreamYard will automatically display during your live stream. On the paid plans, you have the option, depending on the plan you're on, to actually add your own logo. So you can click on the plus icon here to upload your own logo. And once it's uploaded, it will display. And when you click on it, it will display in the top right hand corner of your video for the live stream. And you would click off it to remove it. Then you have the option of playing around with overlays. So overlays is a great way of adding some visual dynamics to the screen. And it can be part of the screen. So like the frames that you see on the screen now, it can also be part of the screen like what you see here where it's some text to emphasize a point. It really depends on you on how you want to play with overlays. I love overlays because you can get pretty creative and do things like this where you can show products, where you can show teaching points and it really is as easy as creating graphics that are transparent and then uploading them to StreamYard. The size dimensions that you want to have for your overlays is 1920 by 1080 pixels and to add an overlay you would simply click on this upload overlay section and then this will allow you to choose your overlay from your desktop. And once you've loaded it, it will be available in your overlay section for you to play during the live stream. You would activate it by clicking on it. You would remove it by clicking on it again. 
and then that will remove it from the actual display of it. If we scroll past the overlay section, you'll see the video clip section here. And there's a couple of options. You can either play StreamYard's preloaded video clips and they've got a countdown timer for you to use. To play videos in this clip section, you would simply click on them and they will automatically be added to the live stream and play into the end. If you want to finish the video sooner, you would click off it to remove it from the actual live stream. If you want to upload your own video clips, they'll need to be the 16 by nine ratio. StreamYard said ideally 1280 by 720. I also recommend 1920 by 1080. Maximum size is 100 megabytes and maximum length is five minutes. And you would simply click on this plus icon here to upload your video clip. And this will allow you to select the video from your computer. Once you've uploaded, it will appear in the video section here. We also have backgrounds and backgrounds is a cool little feature that allows you to have a little bit of color and a little bit of personality during your live stream. Now I've shared my screen in order to demonstrate how backgrounds actually work in StreamYard. At the moment, you can't see much of the background, but if I move in and click on this third option in, you'll see that now you can see what I screen shared, you can see the video feed, and this black background here is the background that StreamYard had uploaded for me. I can click on another background, as you can see, it's just changed there. And if I play with the layout settings, then what happens is you can see more of the background. And then I can choose to swap out the background to a different one during the actual live stream. So that lets you have a little bit of color, personality and change during the live stream. To add your own backgrounds, they need to be ideally 16 by nine ratio. Once again, StreamYard recommend 1280 by 720. I recommend going 1920 by 1080. Maximum size is 20 megabytes. You would click on the plus icon here in the background section. This will allow you to add an image from your computer to the background section. And once it's uploaded here, you can simply click on it to activate it. You can click off it to hide it. And that's how easy it is to add backgrounds and play around with them in StreamYard. If you want to share your screen during the live stream in StreamYard, it's incredibly easy. All you would need to do is click on the share screen option at the bottom of the screen. Then you get to choose between sharing your entire screen, an application window or a specific Chrome tab. And then you would add that to the actual live stream. So I'm going to go to application window, click on that and share it. And you'll see that StreamYard adds it to the live stream. And then I have the ability to play with different layouts depending on how I want it to display. So if I click on this one on the right, it will display just the screen. If I click on this one, the third one in, it kind of just lets you play with the layout. And keep in mind that at any time you can go to the brand tab and then play around with the background so that you have a beautiful background to display during the actual stream. And once you're done with the screen share, you can simply click on remove here and this will remove it from the stream. Now, during your live stream, if you have guests, we can use their private chat option. So if we click on that, what will happen here is that you're able to talk privately to your guest via text. And the conversation that you have in the private chat section here can only be seen by you and your guest. It can't actually be seen by viewers. Whereas the conversation that happens in this comment section can be seen by your viewers as well. So private chat is a really handy feature, particularly if you need to share links between your guests or you need to talk to them discreetly during the actual live stream. Going live is really easy in StreamYard. You would simply click on the go live button here in the top right hand corner. You need to be ready because you don't get a countdown. It just goes live. So let's do that now. StreamYard will ask you if you're ready to go live because there's no countdown and you would click go live. 
and now you're actually live. You get that little message in the screen and you know that you're actually live because there's a red live little box here and it has the timer letting you know how long you've actually gone live for. So you would present all of your content, have your guests come on board, play through all of your banners. You would activate all of the appropriate overlays or the appropriate videos and backgrounds. And you can play with all of the configurations for the layouts as well on the fly. And everything is really easy. Everything is really intuitive. And once you've finished your live stream, you would simply click on end broadcast and this will shut down the live stream feed and end the broadcast. So let's do that now. You will get a prompt from StreamYard. I'm going to click end broadcast. They're just checking if you're not trigger happy. And then the broadcast will finish. And that my friends is an A to Z walkthrough of how to set yourself up on StreamYard, get into the broadcast studio, play around with the video clips with the overlays and backgrounds and the different options that you have there and then go live broadcast and end the actual broadcast. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more live stream tutorials, social media training and tech reviews. Now let me know in the comments section below, how are you going with your live streaming journey? Have you started to live stream yet? I'd love to know. And in the meanwhile, why don't you check out my live stream tutorial playlist or grab a copy of my Facebook Live cheat sheets. It's a super simple guide to get you up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. The links are on the screen now, check them out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.